Hey, welcome back to another episode of Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger. Today, I want to get into a artist that's very near and dear to my heart, Grant Wood. Known as a regionalist painter, Grant Wood was born in a farm four miles east of Anamosa, Iowa. Midwestern life became the center of his great artwork. As a young boy on the farm, he loved to draw and very much wanted to follow in his father's footsteps in becoming a farmer. At the age of 10, Grant Wood's father, Francis, died and his mother had to move the family to the nearby town of Cedar Rapids, Iowa. He struggled to fit in with the so-called city kids. During World War II, he ended up enlisting in the United States Army. He used his artistic skills to paint camouflage on army tanks, believe it or not. Following the war, he began to study at the Art Institute of Chicago. Soon thereafter, he returned to Cedar Rapids to teach at the junior high and high school levels for about eight years. He left teaching to explore Europe and study Impressionism. He followed the art of Alfred Sisley and Camilla Pizarro, among others. While in Paris, he ended up taking some classes and a few years later was back in Iowa. Believe it or not, Grant Wood found his Iowa style and of all places, Germany. He was in Germany overseeing a stained glass window project for the American Legion in Cedar Rapids when he saw the artworks that all revolved around common life in Germany. He was moved by the artistic creations of Jan van Eyck, Albrecht Dürer, and Hans Holbein. These are artists that painted what they knew. They painted where they lived and how they lived. Grant Wood loved Iowa and he knew the subject matter very, very well. He began to focus his attention on what he knew. He created a vision of Iowa that people around the world still see as the all-American, Midwestern way of life. On one particular occasion, Grant Wood stumbles across an old farmhouse near Eldon, Iowa. Now here's the story. His buddy is next to him driving the car and he's in the passenger seat drunk. This was common for him where he'd have a buddy drive him around. As they would tour the countryside, he would drink and draw and look for inspiration while his buddy would chauffeur him around. At the time, this farmhouse was acting as a brothel, but it had a very odd arch-shaped window. He created many sketches of this house and the European window. But what could he put in front of such a unique farmhouse? Of course, a farmer and his daughter. A lot of times people look at these two as a farmer and the farmer's wife, but they're, it's not. It's not a farmer and his wife, it's a farmer and his daughter. Now what's going on here? Basically the depiction is the farmer, the father, protecting his daughter from potential suitors who want to come calling, asking his daughter for a date holding his pitchfork almost as a threat. The mortified daughter stands, not making eye contact, looking off into the distance. She waits for her father's approval before going off with a potential date. Some Iowa farmers saw this as an insult or a mockery of the Iowa farmer. I don't believe that Wood intended any sort of sarcasm. Playing the role of the farmer was his family dentist. Dr. McKeeby, and in the role of the farmer's daughter was Grant Wood's sister, Nan. The only face in all of art history that is more known than the face of Nan in American Gothic is that of Mona Lisa herself. But perhaps the most famous role in the entire painting is the Gothic-style five-paneled window. The now internationally known artist Grant Wood still wanted to be seen as an Iowa farmer, oftentimes wearing his bibbed overalls, and virtually every photograph taken of him shows him wearing such. Wood's mother was very protective. The so-called farmer painter was a 44-year-old bachelor when his mother decided enough was enough, he needs to get married. She set him up to marry an opera singer, Sarah Sherman Maxim. They were married from 1935 to 1938. She was about four years older than Grant Wood. Friends considered the marriage to be a little bit of a mistake because he was a closeted gay man. He was terrified of having his sexual orientation exposed. After his death, his sister Nan was the beneficiary of his good name and was determined to keep that Iowa good boy persona around his name and his closeted life would stay in the closet as long as she was alive. It was only after her death in 1990 that scholars would be able to write 
in more open terms about Grant Wood's life. The questions of his sexuality, as well as those about his academics, art shows, and so on, are filled with many unanswered questions. There is really a lot we don't know. Shortly after creating American Gothic, people from all over the world wanted to study from Grant Wood. In the summers of 1932 and 33, in the beginning of the Great Depression, he hosted an art school and colony in Stone City, Iowa. As the Great Depression got greater, he began to work for the federal art projects and began to work as a professor of fine art at the University of Iowa in Iowa City, Iowa. International critics saw him as this hillbilly bumpkin that could paint very well. As more and more people began to appreciate his artistic style, there were more and more that began to shift away from the abstract world of World War II, and Wood's artwork quickly went out of fashion. He once said, If I paint subjects the way they really look, they don't want anything of me. But if I paint them the way they want me to, I won't think anything of myself. Grant Wood was a lover of America and American history and painted several subjects of American lore. For example, he painted The Midnight Ride of Paul Revere. He painted illustrations for Lewis Sinclair's book Main Street and painted fellow Iowa native Herbert Hoover's birthplace in West Branch, Iowa. Grant Wood died of cancer early in 1942, but I really think he would enjoy the fact that he is represented as the world's favorite Iowa artist. Thank you again for watching another one of these episodes of Art 101 with me, Mr. Berger, and I appreciate your clicking on the video, follow, share, uh, interact with the video however you so choose. Uh, look at the other videos that I've got, see what uh, maybe piques your interest in the world of art. There's so much out there to see, so many great things.